Good morning, I'm Betsy Gibbon. Clinton Griffiths is on assignment. The 2016 election cycle now turns to transition of power. In agriculture, trade was a paramount campaign issue. Now ag groups want campaign rhetoric to turn to action. As Tyne Morgan reports, U.S. dairy exports are relying on the next administration to bolster foreign demand. Thanks, Betsy. Well, supply and demand has been a major topic at 2016 Farm Journal's Milk Business Conference right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I spoke with senior dairy analyst from Rabo Bank about the future. He says while the next 12 months will be fairly high pressure for both supply and demand, he says when you look over, the U.S. will be the only major dairy producing country to grow production over the next 12 months. That's a major shift away from what we've seen over the past year. We've seen the EU quotas come off which basically was like the world growing uh, milk supply by 50, or New Zealand growing by 50% is what we saw come onto the international market in a 12 month period. That's a significant supply shift. So demand has continued to chug on throughout this entire period, but we saw this huge swath of milk come on the market and really depress prices. Demand has been there all along. Bailey says looking longer term, the price story in the U.S. is a friendly one for dairy, thanks to strong demand potential for both international and domestic markets. We can't really rationalize where all the supply is going to come from that the world's going to be needing over the next 10 years. When we look market by market, it's tough to grow milk supply. The U.S. is going to be one of the few markets where we have the land, the industry, the, the feed to grow enough of that supply to meet uh, developing market demand. But we've also got a great market here at home. Now he says when you look at the expansion of production in the Midwest, we could see additional cheese plants and other infrastructure come online to help process the growing supply in the U.S. But one challenge for the dairy industry that will continue is the strength of the U.S. dollar. Reporting from Las Vegas, Nevada, I'm Tyne Morgan for Ag Day.